This is the weekly weather briefing for Monday, July 7, 2014. The briefing will cover the weather for the upcoming week across the inland northwest. As always, forecasts are subject to change, so please check our website during the week for updated information. Here is the overview of weather expected for the next week. The big picture is hot and dry. Breezy westerly winds on Wednesday is expected. For today through Tuesday, the region will be under the influence of an upper level ridge which will draw warm and dry air into the area. A trough of low pressure currently forming in the Gulf of Alaska will move into northern British Columbia late Tuesday and flatten the ridge. The clouds you see over California and Nevada will come to play on Wednesday in bringing some high level moisture to southeast Washington and the southern Idaho panhandle. Wednesday, the ridge gets flattened by the trough moving through northern British Columbia. In addition, weak monsoonal moisture will move up from the south and create a slight chance of thunderstorms for our southeast forecast area starting Wednesday morning and continuing through the afternoon. The area of concern is south of a line from the Blue Mountains to Lookout Pass and includes the Camas Prairie. Any storms that do develop would have no rain with them. Winds will start to increase Tuesday evening westerly about 5 to 10 miles an hour and then increase further Wednesday afternoon and evening westerly 10 to 15 miles an hour with gusts up to 20 miles an hour. Winds across the Kittitas and Wenatchee Valley and into the Waterville Plateau will be 20 to 25 miles an hour. Gusts up to 30 miles an hour with up to 40 miles an hour in the Kittitas Valley is possible across the Cascade Gaps. The winds expected Wednesday, as well as the very low relative humidity values, have prompted a fire weather watch for the Wenatchee and Kittitas Valley. Here are the temperature meteograms for Spokane and Wenatchee for this week. Temperatures will remain well above normal through the forecast period. A similar trend is apparent for the Lewiston and Moses Lake areas. Friday, the ridge just starts to build back up. Temperatures increase further with the hottest days looking to be Saturday and Sunday. Many valley locations will be at or above the century mark. Here is the 8 to 14 day outlook issued by the Climate Prediction Center for July 15th through the 21st. The image on the left calls for above average temperatures. The image on the right calls for below average precipitation chances for the same time frame. In conclusion, the main impacts for this week is hot and dry, uh, Tuesday, and then Wednesday, the ridge will break down a little bit as we get an increase in our westerly winds, especially in the afternoon and evening hours. There is a slight chance of thunderstorms across the southern Idaho panhandle Wednesday. There, will, there is a fire weather watch out for Wednesday afternoon and evening for the Kittitas Valley and Wenatchee Valley. Thursday will be slightly cooler with less wind and then Friday through the weekend the ridge pumps back up for hot and dry. Conditions expected. Please take, a, um, please take our Monday weekly weather briefing survey and let us know how we can best serve you. If you have any further questions please feel free to email Andy Brown at the email on the screen. Here's how you can stay informed and get the latest weather information from the National Weather Service. Check out our Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube accounts. Thanks for listening. Have a great week.